Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. All right, guys, viewer requests. It's 18 by 20 day. 18 by 20 day. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna compare three rackets that are 18 by 20 today. Get it? 18 by 20 day. Okay. All right. First, we got the Technofiber TF40 in the 315 weight. Next, we got the Blade 98 V7, 18 by 20. And then we got the Strike Gen 3, 18 by 20. All right, so that's that's full bed of poly. It's a RPM Rough 17 and that flaming orange. This is a full bed of um natural gut actually uh, on this uh, blade. And then this is a hybrid with a synthetic cross uh, poly main on the uh, TF40 315, okay? All three eighths, so all three eighths. Let's get started. All right, let's go with strike. The flame and strike here, balance board. Survey says three thirty five. All right, yeah. Techno five Brie, Techni five B. We oui, we oui. three twenty three twenty Okay. All right. Blade V seven eighteen twenty. Three thirty. Wait, moving up, moving on up to the east side here. Let's see. Yeah, three thirty. All right, let's hit the scale. At the scale. Three thirty two point five. Three thirty. Nope. Three twenty two point five. Excuse me. Three, three, three. Technifabri. Three, four, two. Check this again, actually. Three forty two point five. Okay. All right. Did I swing with it? I didn't. Okay. Thirty seven. Okay. 
strike. Three nineteen. Swing weight. Three thirty six. Let's uh, do that again. Three thirty six. Okay. All right. Let's analyze the numbers. All right. Excuse me for a second while I. Um, savor this a bit because Wilson yes Wilson that Wilson is almost spot on today I, I was very very taken back with uh, how almost precise that 1820 is so I'm going to test some more of it like in another day but from what this tells me you guys that buy the 1820s are probably getting um, a better spec racket. Like they, you know, they're they're probably uh, more to what they're supposed to be, um, according to that racket. So it's only according to one racket, but I've never seen one uh, that is this close before. And let me show you this. Let me show you this. So before I started taking numbers down. I wrote down what they were supposed to be, right? Underneath in the little guys. And this is the blade 1820, right? What I got, like what I got in the weight was 322.5. It's supposed to be 323, right? Okay, I said, that's great. Swing weight, supposed to be 334, comes in at 333. Balance, right on spot, 330. That never happens. That that might happen one out of 10 blades that it comes out that good. Um, that is as close, to, what is that movie? As good as it gets, okay, for Wilson. But the surprising, the surprising thing to me is that the Technofiber is pretty off. You can tell that it's pretty off to spec in the weight, the swing weight. I mean, that swing weight's way off. Um, balance is on. So looking at the the Babylon Pure Strike 18 by 20, um, the weight is a little off. I mean, that's that's four grams. Swing weight is that's pretty normal. You know, that's not too bad. The balance is a little off. Um, it's a little light in the balance there. Uh, that particular one is uh, more head heavy. Uh, so, yeah. So that throws off that number a bit too. But but the racket started off lighter. So there must be some compensation in there. Um, uh, we know that the strike is going to be the stiffest of the three. Okay. Now. Knowing that, out of just these three batches, uh, we know that the swing weights are the same in those two, with the blade being a little little lighter. Okay, so you get a faster head with the the blade um, balance. Yeah, the head heaviest of the three is the strike. Okay. So there's going to be more plow there, probably, with that 336 too, within these two. Uh, quick as head will probably be that blade. Although this Technofiber isn't bad, but, yeah, you know, that blade for sure. Now, this Technofiber actually starts off heavier. So it naturally is heavier because it's 315 to start. So 
So they, they offset it by altering the balance a bit for 320 so that it feels a little more balanced and not so head light or head heavy. Um, and that's why you see the bigger number here, uh, but a lower number here. Okay, um, beam wise, Technofiber is pretty is consistent at 22 all the way. Blade, we all know 21 all the way. Uh, the strike is a slightly tapered beam, uh, 21 at the top, 23 in the middle, 21 back near the throat. So um, out of the three, out of the three, the most powerful one, like I said, is that strike. And it will feel that way. Um, most flexible one is going to be the blade. Technofiber will be somewhere in the middle, but with a heavier start weight. So it will be more to wield around. Not much more, but definitely more because you see 342 grams versus like a 320, uh, around 320 in these. Okay. Now, 1820s, 1820s, I don't sell very many of these. Uh, I may, like this blade, will probably be the best seller of the three. Um, like European players love the 1820, flat hitters, 1820. Uh, most Americans, teenagers, uh, players like the 1619. They're just more spin, more power, uh, easier to play with. Uh, 1820s tend to be uh, just a little little harder but if you're breaking strings 1820 is a great way to go uh, right so let me see that I'm just gonna swing them that's pretty smooth I feel the weight like here on on this 1820 so it kind of it kind of comes through and it helps me finish up that one um, check the fiber it feels just like that, except that just there, there's more weight coming through. Yeah, that's... So this one feels more kind of like top heavy to me. So whereas those is a pretty constant weight throughout, this one, uh, this particular one is I feel medium weight, medium weight, medium weight, heavy weight. So towards the top, there's a little more weight from what I can feel. Like I can feel the, some of the weight right here at the, the 12 o'clock point. So, but that's just me. Um, three great rackets. Um, not the easiest to play with, but uh, if this is your type of racket, uh, player's rackets, good control, pretty, pretty maneuverable on these guys. Um, you'll be able to kind of shape the ball however you want. Um, more specifically for the slightly flatter hitter. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I personally, if it was up to me, it would be hard for me to play with any of these. Um, I mean, if I had to go out to battle, because you guys always like me, Picking a picking a weapon out of the the bunch, um, I probably picked a strike out of the bunch, just because I like that weight at the at the tip here, so it finishes up my stroke. So, uh, but hey, these are great too, okay? But it would probably be the strike for me. All right, thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.